Today, I'm going to be discussing one of the craziest theories that I genuinely think is going to come true, and this is the return of the Chapter 1 map. Now, you've probably seen millions, like literally thousands, like so many clickbait videos saying, oh, Chapter 1 map is coming back this season, next season it's coming back. It never has, and I've never believed it's going to come back because it just doesn't make sense with the storyline. But right now, we are at a perfect spot to make the Chapter 1 map come back. So let me break down to you guys why I think this might happen as a bit of a lore expert. I don't mean to toot my own horn here, but I have been following the lore since literally was invented in Chapter 1, uh, technically end of Season 3, beginning of Season 4. But that's irrelevant to the story at hand. Let's go ahead and see why I think the Chapter 1 map is returning. So to start it off, if you haven't been keeping up with this season's quest lines, that's okay. Basically, all you need to know is that this season we have Rift Warden Stellan. And this guy is basically working for the Oathbound to try and create a Rift Portal. Now, this Rift Portal is effectively what we had in Chapter 3 and Chapter 2 and Chapter 1. These are the Rifts that you see around the map, except this is one that will allow you to transport yourself between realities. So obviously, we won't actually get to use this in-game. It's only for the lore side of things, but basically what this means is if a uh, Rift Warden Stellan is successful, he will make a Rift Gate that will allow him to just travel anywhere in the multiverse. So technically that means he could go to Batman's reality, he could go to the Marvel reality, he could go literally anywhere. Now the reason that he's building this is because of a shapeless man. Now this shapeless man, it, everybody is making theories about who he is. Personally, I think it is Geno who is currently reconstructing himself after he was killed. There's a lot of theory saying it's the nothing but i honestly like to dismiss those notions because the nothing does not refer to themselves as a he it never refers to themselves as a man it's always we or something collective the nothing is not a person it is not an entity it is just a thing that exists it is the nothing so basically i don't believe it's the nothing i think he would be referring to them as a we or a collective something instead of the shapeless man now the shapeless man obviously could be geno because as we have seen in the comics geno has the ability to literally destroy his entire shape, reconstruct it, and then still be alive. So uh, obviously the shapeless man kind of just fits there. So how does this all tie together back to the chapter one map? Well, basically right now, Amy has finished everything that she needs to have to be able to venture off and find the scientist. Now she's going to be leaving us and basically trying to go through what is effectively this rift portal to go ahead and try and find the scientist. But in order to do so, she made herself the augment of aim now for those who don't know aim is the secret skin from chapter one season five or season six now in chapter one season six aim was introduced to the game as the secret skin now for those who haven't played fortnite for long enough basically the secret skins are what we get in the middle of the seasons now so as you guys may know we're getting the uh, Geralt guy from the witcher that is what the secret skins used to be it's just that they didn't announce them at the beginning of the season they were just announced about seven weeks into the season so they were secret until they actually got announced and and then you had to complete the quest lines, all that good stuff. You guys know the deal with that. But basically, AIM was the Chapter 1 Season 6 reward. And now Amy is modifying AIM. You guys can see the little play on words that they did right there. To actually go ahead and venture off looking for the scientist. Now, this is where it gets really, really interesting. AIM ventured to our island in Chapter 1 Season 7. Technically, Chapter 1 Season 6, because that's when he was introduced to the game. But in Chapter 1 Season 7, he brought along the frozen portion of the map. Now, hear me out here just for a second. Obviously, Amy is leaving from the frozen portion of our island, as is displayed by the end of this week's quest line. So that means not only is she leaving the map from a frozen part of the island, as AIM, the person that we saw introduced to the Chapter 1 map in Chapter 1 Season 6, in Chapter 1 Season 6, AIM had frozen feet. So it is clear that he was from an ice portion of wherever he came from. Now, alongside that, in Chapter 1 Season 7, you guys may recall that we got a giant ice block that floated onto the map. This was not anything ordinary. This was a giant chunk of ice that literally extended the size of the Chapter 1 one map now i don't know if you guys have been paying attention this season but our map is made of entirely just chunks of random stuff 
So this chunk of ice that has a castle on it, incredibly similar to the Chapter 1 Season 7 castle that the Ice King resided in, could be the one that floats over to the Chapter 1 Island. The current storyline that we're in is the origin of the IO. This is how the IO was created. We're basically just learning the backstory in a different timeline. No, it's not time travel. It's a weird thing that we're dealing with here. But my guess is that we are going to restart the lore loop all over again. Now, obviously, it would kind of get rid of the purpose of extending the lore any further, but my guess is that in Chapter 1, Season 7, that was a different version of Amy that came to our original island looking for the scientist. When the scientist wasn't there, somehow the visitor got out of the nothing's goop. Obviously, this theory gets a little bit confusing because the visitor is currently consumed by that substance that we had last last season so there are a few holes in the armor of this theory but i genuinely do believe this is the best shot we have ever had of having the chapter one map return now the big downside to this theory is obviously that we have only been in chapter four for one season so we probably won't get chapter five after only one season of chapter four but that being said every single chapter has it's been getting shorter and shorter chapter one was 10 seasons chapter two was eight seasons Chapter 3 was 4 seasons. There's a chance they could just make Chapter 4 1 season. Then make Chapter 5 a return to the original island and a bunch of different stuff. So it technically does make sense in the lore. I think in all honesty, this is the best hint we have ever gotten for seeing the return of the Chapter 1 map. Now, with all of that said... I still think it is highly improbable that this will happen, solely due to the fact that it would basically require Epic to start repeating the storyline, and even though there are already a ton of plot holes in the Fortnite storyline, if you didn't know that, this would create even more plot holes, because a lot of the things just wouldn't make sense. But I think that they could tie it together. I could see a way that would take like a 30 minute explanation, and I don't want to waste your guys' time. But I think it's possible that Fortnite could pull this one together, bring us back to the original map, make it make canonical sense, and let us have some fun all the while. Now, alongside that, if for even more evidence, if you're still skeptical, they're thinking about bringing in first-person mode to Fortnite. Now, first-person mode was debated when they were first creating the game of Battle Royale, because if you guys didn't know, there's actually a first-person mode in Save the World. It's really weird because you can't see your gun, but it is a first-person mode that allows you to go into the first person view so it means that they were considering it when they were creating battle royale this could mean that we go back to the chapter one map and we get first person mode with the re-release of the original map basically giving fortnite first person mode right off the bat back on the chapter one map imagine how many players would be back for that I genuinely think the more I talk about this, the more likely this theory is. But don't get mad at me if it doesn't happen because there's still a massive chance that Epic Games just doesn't want to go back to the original map. They want to keep pushing the storyline forwards. And hey, not that this move wouldn't keep pushing the storyline forwards, but it would bring us back to something that we've already seen. And I know that Epic Games loves to invent stuff. But another piece of evidence that could be bringing us back to the Chapter 1 map is that Creative Mode 2.0 is coming out very, very soon. So like here me out here think about first person mode getting added to fortnite and creative mode 2.0 getting added to this game all while we're going back to the original chapter one map i mean fortnite might be like higher player count than it was at its peak back in chapter one season four let me know what you guys think about this theory in the comment section down below because honestly i would love if it came true but i think there are a lot of things that epic games would have to figure out but honestly i could see them doing it i could see them pulling this one off us going back to the chapter one map Map, having an amazing time let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below but for now that's everything that you guys need to know about the current lore situation of us going back to the chapter one map if you guys did enjoy this video then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel as that would help me out a ton i hope you guys all have an amazing day and i will see you guys in the next one